So you're advocating for single moms? No, I'm advocating. I am advocating for women to go get educated because your kids end up doing better statistically. Bro. Yo, okay. Um, <laughs> did, um, Bruh. It's fine. You wanted to ask the question to, to tie if intelligence matters as much. Because, yeah. yeah, I was saying for me it's not as important on the totem pole, but what about you? Well, IQ is heritable, like you yeah. said. It's like 0.8. So I, I, I wouldn't have kids with a dumb girl. But I think with a balance of what you're trying to say, there's truth. Men, here's the thing. People put, we search for our genes to offset our weaknesses. That's why, for example, like really tall dudes will be dating a five foot two girl. Because mm -hmm. that dude knows subconsciously. Like I, my stepdad was six foot seven. And my, my mom was like average height. And he didn't care. And so you'll see a lot of really tall dudes. In fact, tall women complain about the fact yeah. Oh, all oh, the tall dudes don't care. I'm like, because he brings so much to the table. So a super high IQ or a higher IQ dude oftentimes will not care quite as much about IQ so because you don't he's believe subconscious. Assortative mating or the similarity yeah, that attraction? Is a, so assortative mating is an interesting one. You're smart that you know that. Assortative mating is an interesting thing. Sometimes we're attacked, but it's very domain specific. Sometimes we're attracted to our equals, mm -hmm. like arm length studies. They've done stuff like that. But sometimes we're, we're okay with our opposites. Yeah, but generally people tend to date with the attraction similarity hypothesis too, across IQ, across education. Across One standard deviation. So for example, a man who has like, let's say a high IQ man, 145, that's pretty smart. You start to get astrophysicist level. He'll be okay with a woman that's one standard deviation. So a 145 doesn't need a 145. In yeah, fact, the sciences in general, and you could say this is good or bad, men tend to date slightly lower IQ. It, but but what, it overall in the same bracket is what yes, we're saying. Yes, if you're 145 IQ, if you were Stephen Hawking, 155, you can't be dating a 100 IQ. Exactly. You have nothing to talk about. Yeah, exactly. But but the point is, I think the truth about it is, is men are superficial. We think it's superficial, but it's actually very intelligent. Men are also a, a badass businessman. Okay, take somebody, take Elon Musk. He's not necessarily out there marrying his intellectual equivalent. Look at who he married. Yeah. He didn't marry his intellectual equivalent. He didn't, I mean, uh, he's a smart, semi, almost savant level. So I think these but, are these are tricky things. I, I think what you're saying is true. Men like agreeableness. Yeah. But I think it goes deeper. I think where people get fucking, women get mad is they think it's some kind of evil thing. Men have preferences because it worked. You know? I, I saw this at the Amish, for example. The Amish have the best, lowest divorce rate in the world. Happiest people. Old school, back, I'll tell you, back when there was physical labor, mm -hmm. women never tried, wanted men's jobs. I see it. I'm going this week. I go. <laughs> Dudes yeah. are out here. I was at an Amish community that was super old-fashioned. They were cross-cutting logs. And so men were strong and powerful, and everybody was good with it, and the women were okay. They're like, I don't want to do that. I want to cook and raise a family. Part of it is that men can't have kids, so you got to have delegation of the sexes. So women, we can't give birth. Women have a superpower, you know what so I mean? So women are special? Of course. I mean, Thank the sex... You. The I mean, shit, have, giving birth's a big fucking thing, man. That's why I think sometimes women get mad that men care that they can have kids and, oh, we're just baby-making machines. That's, you reproduce life, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. They, they also found that the higher IQ for a man, the more ability he has to be married. But the higher IQ points for women, the lower the probability of finding a mate and getting married. So, like, it tells you that men don't care about that shit in general. Like, yeah, is it cool to be able to have a girl that's not a retard? Sure. But... In general, like if a girl's hot, eh, a guy's gonna be like, you know what? Eh. I'm willing to tolerate her being less intelligent. Like, she, they're gonna get a more, they're gonna get a more arguments though because she's not gonna understand. Actually, and the comprehend. intelligent girl's gonna be yeah. no. more combative. No. She's gonna be more combative. And I'm yeah. sure yeah, you know about true. proximity. I mean, oh. If you're Maybe intelligent, her. <laughs> you're around a lot of other intelligent people. If you're a lawyer like I am, you're well, I'm an exception, but you're around usually a lot of other lawyers. And lawyers tend to marry other lawyers. Doctors tend to marry other doctors. They're intelligent women are highly college educated women again we're the only ones who our divorce rates aren't going down they don't seem to have trouble finding husbands yeah it's not even it, agreeableness has nothing to do with age it has to do with yes, your demeanor no it doesn't oh, it fuck. you think you think you're gonna argue more have you been in relationships where you argue a lot when you're in 
when you're a 40 year old couple or you think you're going to have more arguments in a relationship with a 21 year old couple the 21 year old couple is going to fight way more than the older couple well that's why men marry girl men prefer women that are younger than them but if you marry a woman under 25 you're divorced statistically you're going to be way more likely to get divorced and that depends on their age too because there's just I don't know how many men you guys talk to, but besides in Miami, but people just want to be able to relate to the person that they're around all the time. And you can't relate that well to someone who's that Not necessarily. much younger. Hyper-masculine hyper men prefer hyper-feminine women. Hyper-masculine? Yes. The guys that are the most, the, the guys that women find attractive, the dominant and assertive guys, they typically want a very feminine woman. Well, that's a different thing. You can be feminine at any age, obviously, but agreeableness and, and your demeanor and your personality is something you're going to carry through your life. If you're an argumentative, combative person when you're 18, you're going to be like that when you're 40. Or if you're like a calm, like more reasonable person well, when you're well, young. Well, arguing uh, being not agreeable is not a feminine trait. That's a, being agreeable is no, being, feminine? being non-agreeable is not a feminine trait. That's a more masculine trait to be non-agreeable. But uh, and then that's so and that's what men don't like. Like men don't want to sit there and argue with women. Like it's yeah. But that and and you're right about that. But I'm just saying that being that way, it has nothing to do with age. It's maybe it is about your testosterone levels. Women that as are a younger woman. are going to be. If you're an older guy and you're with a younger girl, she's it's going to be less likely for her to argue with you. And then if she's also had less experiences, she's been she's Have been less met? promiscuous. So why that's is she more true. likely to divorce you than a woman who's closer to your age? She's going to argue with you all the time because she's young I'm and mature. I'm not believing anything you're saying because you say a bunch of BS. Stats. I mean, guys, look it up. You, Don't you get your literally. I mean, literally yeah. come on here and you say a bunch of nonsense that isn't necessarily true. I will post everything true. to my Instagram if you guys want to follow it yeah sure no, fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm just speaking i'm, I'm just say, speaking bro. from experience like, uh, like, uh, dude, like you came in here last time and you said a bunch of bs and i got a million dms like this is a lie this but, is a link blah 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 that she made this astral it's, yeah, a, it's a lie you don't get that's how you don't look at you you do actual research you don't look at your illiterate chat or dm no you they gave at, me they, they literally did. gave me the data and they're yeah. like okay, Yo, don't so, bring this girl back so like i'm actually i'll be honest i am amazed that you're here again because it's like i mean i didn't know sorry like the amount of like what the fuck chris <laughs> like yo, the amount of complaints that I got from you being here last time and things that you said. Your chat doesn't shit, man. like your chat doesn't like when you get challenged. They want to just see no, women getting no, roasted. No, it's not yes. about that. It it's, is about, it's not that. about that. If you're gonna come. These are just the come. stats, guys. I'm not making this up. You guys all have access to the Do internet. Do you see if how you cut him off right now? Like he was I'm talking. I'm sorry for cutting you off. But you do it many times. Yeah, I, I mean, it's just like I said before. <sighs> you said a bunch of you've said a bunch of things that have been <laughs> fact checked, and they're not true. This is true. You guys have access to the internet. You can check it. Well, well one thing on disagreeable for sure: testosterone is what makes you disagreeable, and men are sometimes forty x. Like I, I was telling them on the other show, like I did my my uh, blood test one time, and my total test was twelve hundred. And then my cousin did it, Maya, and she was 35 or something. And I told her, oh, you got to you gotta do it again. The lab must have broke. you know." The t and she's like, I called the doctor, and he said that's normal. So men tend to be, for, I'll give you this example. You got somebody breaking in your house, you want a dude, you want 10 Navy SEAL-like police dudes showing up, ripping somebody to shreds. You don't want, in general, women are going to be much less aggressive. And so when you t you were talking about raising kids, one of the things that science shows is that a man is for like a son, a father and a son, there's certain times in life. It's good to always have a father around, but a father's extra important at certain times. You brought up, you actually brought up teenagers. Like a son, only a son, only a father can stop a son who's big and strong from getting out of hand. I remember I had a big stepdad, six foot seven guy. Like I was kind of a strong willed kid. So, yeah, yeah, the the single family thing, I don't, uh, go, just going back, I'm bringing up some past stuff. Sometimes there's a reason nature created, you, you got to go deep. Why did nature, ferns do asexual reproduction, the plant, ferns. They do little spores. My grandpa was an expert on ferns. He used to say, there's no male and females here. Earthworms, they don't have males and females. They have, you know, like hermaphrodite reproduction. But for some reason, nature, or if you're more religious, you could say God made a made sexual reproduction and so a lot of this stuff we argue about we're arguing with nature we're arguing with god god made two and so a kid needs two 
And whenever you don't have two, you have a problem. Mm -hmm. Now, as I said, my personal belief, I don't know if I'm red pill, blue pill, whatever. Marriage is man-made. A lot of times, if you believe in the Bible, these motherfuckers weren't getting married. You know, people weren't all, marriage is a new thing. But long-term mating, man, women being together, raising a kid, that shit has been there forever and it's important. And I do think men in general are meaner, grumpier. And so a lot of dudes don't want to have a kid with their exact equal mean, grumpy woman. They just don't. It needs to be an offsetting. Now, I do agree once in a while, there's happy couples where the woman is the mean, grumpy one in the male, but in general, it's just not that way. It's like there's the science is in. You could I have you know what's funny? You get a lot of truth when you live on a farm with animals. Because I, I have a farm and you don't have to worry about adjusting for culture. Like my cows, the bulls are fucking mean, dude. You're you're a hundred times more likely to get killed by a bull. You know, these bulls are mean. And actually in a textbook, this is interesting. If you look at a text, it's called grading cattle. So if you grade cattle, which ones you buy on a farm, they actually look on a dairy cow, you look for feminine features. Isn't that crazy? You're taught like in agribusiness school, like the top school, you look for like a cow that has bigger eyes because it's a healthier female. So a lot of this shit we argue about, nature already figured this out. So obviously humans are complex and there needs to be some variation and there's little leeway, but the general, their patterns are here, man. The patterns are here. Men are big, Perfect. strong, shit ton of testosterone, psychopaths, almost all males. You look on the Wikipedia, last 1,000 serial killers, 990 of them are men. Men are more ruthless with stuff like that. So I think there's a lot of truth. I, I'm kind of a, I'm a pretty alpha dude. I'm not the most alpha guy, but I'm alpha enough. I do like I do better with feminine women. <laughs> I've I've tried like the girls that I've lasted the longest with were they were they were my opposite because I get enough of myself. When I come home, I'm like shit. I don't want myself. You know what I'm saying? I do agree though with you on one thing. I ain't meeting, I'm not having kids with no fucking absolute stupid woman because you will dilute your IQ too much. <laughs> you will dilute your if you're a smart dude. You can't be with the fucking moron. Like, that shit is too much of a dilution. But I don't know if I've dated... I tend to not date women that are exactly into science and this and that, you know? But anyway. Well, and don't you think that... Well, okay, so then when age comes into play and you're like a 35-year-old man... Well, now we're getting into it. Well, we start to bring <laughs> yeah. up age. Well, no, because you're saying you don't want to date a dumb woman. And then, yeah. like, age doesn't mean you're dumb. If you're, you know, 21 years old... Um, you could have a high IQ or be intelligent, but you just don't have the life experience and the knowledge that comes with all those years. So there's still going to be a huge gap. For That's good, though. Men want that. We want women that are moldable. Like, women value competence. We don't give a shit about that. Some women are not moldable, and you will find that out once you're with them. And IQ them. and competence kind of go hand in hand. Then we leave. No, but yeah, simple. I mean, yeah. If a girl's not, else. you want a girl that's gonna follow your lead. She's gonna be moldable. She's gonna be more on your program. Like guys or men, masculine men want to be with women that are gonna follow them. So you so. don't want a woman who's like, okay, oh, you want this? Okay, I know what to do. Like, okay, here, shut up, do this. bitch. You want a woman who's gonna be like, huh? What? What do I do? Can you tell me what to do? Yeah, you teach her one time, and then she's gonna learn, and she'll do it, and then she gets it. Yeah. So she, but shouldn't she like maybe learn from her parents or her family how to? I mean, that's fantastic if that happens. But let's be honest here: most girls come from a single parent household with a single mom. Most right? girls do. Yes. Yes, most people d don't have two parent households in the, in the oh, United States. You mean okay? They're not married yet. <laughs> okay, we can move on. Anyway, yeah. Uh, hey, uh, it, it, uh, chat ones are gone, man. Like, they want to leave? Yeah, they have pitchforks and shit, man. <laughs>